Born Housewife. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna talk to you guys about a very serious issue that's afflicting our community. And that is hands and hair syndrome. I can't keep my hands out of my hair. I don't, if you don't know what that is, it's the constant need to either play with your hair, to have your hands in it, to be retwisting, to be doing anything with your hair. And, and I have never felt it so strongly as I felt it this week. Um, if you haven't already taken a look at my other videos, I am 11 weeks as of tomorrow. Um, so I'm a week away from being three months locked. And I usually do much better than this. All week has been a constant struggle. Get my hands out of my hair. Stop touching it. Like freaking out about how many, how many strands and frizz. And that's not something that... I normally do yes when it comes to after I wash my hair or making a video I will point out the strands but on a day-to-day -day basis I'm not constantly looking for strands I am not constantly standing in the mirror critiquing my hair but this week this week in particular and I think it's because I saw such a notable um, progression between weeks 9 and 11 that now I am kind of like at this point where I need to see something happening and I know that it's me and that I need to be patient and I just need to go with the flow of things. I'm just here to talk about this great problem in the natural hair community. I'm not saying it happens to everyone, but I am saying that some of us are afflicted with it and we need to talk about it. I need to keep my hands out of my hair. I need to keep my hands out of my hair. I want to put my hands in my hair. I want to I want to feel them. I want to see if they're budding. I want to twirl them around my fingers. I want to pick at the crazy ends that I've shown you guys before, but there seems to be more of them now, of just straight ends. And I even threatened to cut them off. I'm not cutting them off. I'm just saying that I've, I just have been going through it this week. I have just not been feeling very pretty. I have not been feeling like my hair is doing what I needed to do or what I wanted to do and I'm just trying to um, put control over it and I think that's why I've been touching my hair so much because there is this, this need deep down need to feel like I have some type of control over this particular aspect of my life which is my hair so me locking my hair were for more than just one reason and not just to be aesthetically pleasing it was to help me when going into my weight loss journey to not have to be constantly worrying about my hair and I feel like it has it's definitely helped with that definitely and I love it and I, I made a video about how much I was in love with my locks and I still am I just can't keep my hands out of it and I'm not helping the situation. Every time I play around with the loose strands, I'm not helping it. Every time that I think about retwisting when it's not time, I'm not helping it. Every time I critique heavily about the strands and the frizzies in the mirror for like 10 minutes straight, I am not helping it. And if you're doing the same thing, you are not helping it. It may feel okay at the moment, or it might not. You might beat yourself up about it. That's not good either. That's not helping. I think the best thing to do is just acknowledge this is happening. I can't stop touching my hair and move past it. I'm going to try to not touch my hair. I am going to try to wait until the end of this month to have my hair retwisted because I am working on something very important. And my birthday is coming up at the beginning of next month, August 5th. So I will be taking a trip with my husband to Las Vegas and I am not going to be worrying about my hair. I want to look nice when I go, so I will have it retwisted beforehand, but I am not going to twist right in the middle of the month as planned. I am going to try my best to keep my hands out of my hair. That's all I, I can't make any promises. I can't make any promises that I won't touch my hair or, or fiddle around with it or stare in the mirror here and there. But what I'm saying is I'm going to make an effort to not do it. I'm going to try to keep my hands out of my hair and I hope you will too. So if you guys are having the same issue as me, if you've had a serious bout of hands and hair syndrome, please leave your stories down in my in my comment section. I read all of your comments. I am there. I respond. I want to know that I'm not alone in this, right? That it's not just me. That I'm not crazy and keeping my hands in my hair for no reason, right? Right? Right?
okay anyway anyway that's my personal my <laughs> personal my public service announcement for today let's all just try and keep our hands up right here especially if we have starter locks because i'm not helping it i might be hurting it and i'm going to try and be better not just for me but for you guys i'm gonna try and stay strong because i need to show you guys some well loved put together eventually locks not some thin over twisted strandly ends that's not even a word i don't know type of hair okay so i'm gonna pull myself to it and i hope you guys hold me to it as well leave me any type of comments in the comment section check out my description box i'm gonna have my links to any other videos that might be helpful to you guys and my facebook follow me leave a comment like it subscribe thank you all and i'll see you next time bye